Bonjour et bienvenue dans une autre édition de Food Sac. <laughs> Je t'aime. The nation of France has contributed a lot to world culture, from film to music to the very foundation of democracy. But today I'm going to look at French cuisine. That's right, I'm going to look at Australia's top three best French foods. Let's get started. Allez cuisine. Okay, so first of all, I am going to look at le snacks. Anyone who has ever had morning tea in Australia has encountered a le snack. I chose the cheddar cheese, also known in French, the fromage cheddar. So, this has already been opened. Food Satchel was getting stuck into these earlier. And here we go. So, people in other countries may be surprised that Australians, well, Australian kids, eat French food almost every day in the form of a la snack. Here it is on the back. You can see it's got three crackers three biscuits and this little uh, pellet of cheese. Pretty exciting. Gonna get stuck into it now. So first of all, yeah. All right. So here it is, the cheese there and the crackers. Let's have one, yum. Ooh, look at that, all right. Now the trick here is to get the correct amount of cheese per crisp bread because you don't want to run out before you've eaten all of the all of the crackers anyway let's get stuck into it mmm très bien très bien mmm mm. c'est magnifique excellent really good on to the next one gonna wash it down with a drink now I'm gonna wash it down with the yop the French yogurt drink, Yop. Now this is from Yoplait, which as you all know, is French for yogurt. Yoplait is French for yogurt. So I would assume that Yop is French for yog. I haven't researched that. That's just uh, my working theory here. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a go. Now this is a yogurt based drink. I don't know if it's just yogurt and milk. It seems to be pretty much that though. Let's give it a go. I've never had this before. This is a new product actually, shake me. Very helpful. Alrighty. Mm. Yum. Très bien. Très bien. Again, très bien. Uh, this is the passion fruit and mango one. There are different versions, but uh, this is pretty good. Mm. Yeah, very good. Now onto a bit of dessert. You gotta have dessert. France is well known for their beautiful desserts, and I've got one ready to show you. I am, of course, talking about the Nice Biscuits. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, hang on, they're nice. They're called Nice Biscuits, which is a fair enough assumption, given that is how they're spelt, and that is a pretty fair description of the, of the quality of the biscuit. They are a pretty nice biscuit. But I understand that these are actually named after the region in southern France, Nice. So they're called Nice Biscuits. So let's get stuck into them. Now, I do have to warn you, I did drop these in the car park on the way back from Woolworth, so they might be a bit cracked. No, they're fine. Well, this one is, anyway. <clears throat> so there it is. There's the Nice Biscuit. Not nice. Not nice biscuit. Nice Biscuit. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Let's have a go. Mmm. Says magnifique. Delicious. Whatever the French word for delicious is, this is it. You may be thinking as well, like, why are they called a biscuit after a place in France? But this is not without precedent. There are a lot of biscuits named after places. There's the Monte Carlo, there's the Scotch Finger. Um, I believe Ginger Nuts is a region in Portugal somewhere. I, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is very nice. Nice cup of tea. This would go down a treat. 
Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Merci. If you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to leave a like. That really helps. And if you didn't like it, you can leave a thumbs down. Go for it. I don't really mind. Make sure to subscribe and have a great day. Catch you all later. Cheers.